Hi, Demi Jack here. Now today, Phil Spencer has spoken about the whole Bethesda games being Xbox exclusive. Now, he did say he can make them exclusive and people will still buy them. However, there is a catch. There is a catch. He did not 100% confirm it. In fact, he actually said that he would rather not take games away from people. Phil Spencer says Bethesda games can be Xbox exclusive and still make a profit. Now I just want to tell everyone who is a PlayStation owner right now to calm down. It, it, it's most likely they're not going to be exclusive. I, I'm just going to put it out there. I mean there's still a chance but I would say most likely they're not going to be exclusive. Now we're going to read this article. It's not a long article. We probably won't read the whole thing but let's read. The head of Xbox has seemed to imply the future of Bethesda games will not be coming to PlayStation 5, although he stopped short of confirming it. Yes, he did not confirm it. And let's be honest, if if he was going to confirm it, he would have confirmed it by now. Ordinarily, there's only one reason a console manufacturer buys a developer or a whole publisher, and that's to make their games exclusive. But whether that will be the case with Bethesda remains a mystery. Xbox boss Phil Spencer has given the closest thing to a straight answer so far. When asked by Kodaku whether Microsoft can still recoup their $7.5 million investment if they don't sell Elder Scrolls on PlayStation 5, Spencer's answer is simply yes before adding, this deal was not done to take games away from another player base like that. Nowhere in the document that we put together was. How do we keep other players from playing these games? We want more people to be able to play games and not fewer people to be able to go play games. He then continued, when I think about where people are going to be playing and the number of devices that we've had, and we have xCloud and PC and Game Pass and we're console based, I don't have to go ship these games to any other platform other than the platforms that we support in order to kind of make the deal work for us. Whatever that means. It's been rightly assumed a new franchise such as Starfield will likely be Xbox exclusive, but the real question mark has been over established franchises such as Fallout and Elder Scrolls, which will create a backlash if they suddenly become exclusive. Spencer's answer ties to things both ways make it clear that Microsoft is certainly considering making them exclusive and while he obviously wants to avoid just saying yes or no, it's very likely that Microsoft simply hasn't decided yet. Yes, they obviously haven't decided yet, so that's why I urge every PlayStation player to calm down. Given neither game has a new entry planned anytime soon, he has already said that the decision will be a case by case basis, although implying that some games at least it will be exclusive. There you have it, people. He probably hasn't even decided yet. Like, let's be honest, he's not giving a straight answer. And why is he not giving a straight answer? Well, he probably hasn't decided yet. Like, that's the thing. Now, yes, he can ultimately just go ahead and put them on Xbox and PC and be like, call of the day and still make loads of money. However, as I've been saying, put it on all platforms. Put it on all platforms. You make way more money than anything. And I'm pretty sure Phil Spencer knows that. Like, let's be honest. He is a businessman after all. So he probably knows that. The thing is, he did say that he did not want to take it away from player bases and, and stuff. However, he did say he, he can basically just go ahead and do that. It is, I'm going to be honest, pretty vague what he said, like he, he's not giving a yes or no, and th th one can argue that's dodging the question, however, he did say that he can do it, but he probably won't do it, but he can do it, so, I don't know, I, I, I really don't know at this point, now, at least he's probably going to put Outer Scrolls and Fallout on PlayStation anyway, as there will probably be major backlash if he doesn't. Like, let's be honest there. But at the end of the day, it will probably most likely be a case-by-case -case issue. So I, I, I don't know people, I don't know people. 
However, I, I'm thinking they will be on the PlayStation anyway. At least Outer Scrolls and Fallout, most likely. However, there is a however. Starfield, however, as the article didn't say, probably will be exclusive. That probably will be exclusive. Now, I'm, I'm guessing they did buy Bethesda Games and Denny Mac because they want some exclusivity deals. I guess to be honest, it is kind of the thing with consoles. But hey, you don't have to worry about this stuff when you're a PC gamer because, let's be honest, any Xbox game besides Forza will be on PC regardless. And hey, Forza even may one day be on PC also. So I, I don't have to worry about this. And hey, they're releasing PlayStation games on PC also now. So I'm guessing PC is the place to be. But let's be honest, some people are console gamers. That is pretty much the story. We don't know. He's dodging the question. He's majorly dodging the question. Well, at the same time, he did say he basically can do it. But he didn't give a yes or no. He didn't give a yes or no. Which to me is dodging the question. I will cover this story as more news unfolds, so stay tuned. Now, if you did enjoy this story, and I just want to point out, there is a link to the article in the description down below. I don't know if I said it at the start of the video, I should have. Now, there is a link to it in the description down below, so go check that out and read the article for yourself if you're still unsure. If you did like this video, please give it a like. Also, hit the bell for notifications and subscribe for more content as I am trying to reach my goal of 45 subscribers by the end of the year. And also, please go ahead and share this video to all your friends and like and subscribe and I will see you all next time.